I want to do. Um, might get in some canoe and cook a little breakfast. Definitely going to cook some dinner. And uh, enjoy me on this overnighter that we're going to do. And also, hey, I want to thank all my subscribers and my followers and everybody who hits the like and shares and stuff. I love that. But I also wanted to mention, I made a promise when I first started this YouTube channel, when I hit my first 100 subscribers, that I was going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned towards the end of the video, and I will discuss the giveaway in further detail. Okay? Sit back, grab a coffee, enjoy, or whatever beverage that you might like on this nice summer morning and uh, let's get this party started <laughs>
just don't get any better than that. Mmm. Start bacon. Can't go wrong with bacon. I've said that a million times. Mmm. There's just something about cooking bacon on an open fire and makes it taste better. I'll dispute that all day long. It definitely tastes better outside and on a fire than it does it cooking it up in the house. Finish up my meal real quick, clean everything up, and then uh, see what happens next. Stay tuned. Oh, before I forget, hold on, wait right here. y'all giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers so you guys all see me cook on this pan it's called a Bromwell and they were around I think 1819 1820 something like that they started they started around that gold rush time and they started to make these cold steel stamp pans that the frontiersmen and People used to pay them for gold, all that stuff. So anyway, long story short, they make these pans, been in business forever. And uh, when I ordered them, they sent me a couple extras to give away. So I waited till I had 100 subscribers, and I actually got a little bit more than 100 subscribers by the time this all aired. So, this is what I'm giving away. If you would like one of these, or this one, anyway, I should say. If you like this one, hit the like and share button, because I can see all that. Leave a comment saying I'm in. And I will do this Let's make it a week from today. So today's what, Sunday? So you guys will probably see this Monday or Tuesday. So next Sunday, I'll do the giveaway on this Bromwell pan, cold steel stamp pan. This here's a, uh, they make a seven inch and a six inch. And this is the six inch here and they go by the diameter on the outside, not on the inside. So this is a very, this is what I use. You guys see me use this like a bazillion times on all my cooking videos, everything. I even use it at the house, all kinds of stuff. So if you want one of these, hit the like and share and subscribe and tell all your friends and leave a comment that says I'm in and we'll get you registered and we will do this and some lucky winner will win this pan. And the odds are pretty good because there's only like 100, I think 110 of you. So there's only 110 of you. So the odds are pretty damn good. Alright. So let me clean everything up and we'll get on to the next project. Alright, stay tuned. <laughs>
getting ready to do a little cooking make a little dinner I figure tonight I prepare for you guys I don't know if you can see this we're gonna have a couple steaks some shrimp wrapped in bacon that's right I said bacon and a couple lobster tails and we're gonna put them on the grill cook them up smoke them up and uh, let you know how they taste So I'll set those over there. So first thing we want to do, get a cup. We want to use one whole stick of butter. This here butter, I think, is the best butter on the face of the planet. And I'll dispute anybody who says so. But this is Kerrygold. This is pure Irish butter. And this is, this is non-salted. Alright. So, we're going to melt that up. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a lemon completely in half. Right, Lil Teak? Lil Teak says, yeah, man. squeeze the lemon in with the butter and this is gonna give it a, a like a, a sweet a sweetness to it and you'll understand why here in a second Also, we're gonna need, uh, let's go with, uh, I'll say three cloves of garlic. We're gonna mince these bad boys up. Definitely gonna need a bigger knife for that. Escape. Oh, there's two of you in there. That's why. All right, you can't escape. Sorry about that little take. Didn't mean to hit you in the head. Uh, all right. All right. Clean these up. And then we'll cut these bad boys. Oops. Sorry, little take. Hit you again. Didn't mean that, brother. Cut these, chop these guys up, mince them, cut them, whatever. I'm not a chef, so I just know what looks cool. Sometimes it tastes cool. Uh, see those chefs that are like Ch -ch 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 yeah I can't do that so don't expect any uh, trick photography here that's about as fast as you guys are going to see me do it and notice my fingers aren't in the way because I would hit them Trying to escape. Another leaf. Yeah, we'll give it one more chopping. 
through. And uh, let me go throw this on the fire and start melting it, and then I'll make the uh, barbecue rub sauce. Hold on one second. make the barbecue bourbon sauce okay so what we first do here is I saved some garlic from that last bit but you can use two cloves of garlic again mince it up put it in a bowl like that voila okay now, you want <clears throat> two parts of barbecue sauce. That's what I'm using. It's what I like. Tastes good. Use your own barbecue sauce. Whatever you like. But, try to get it like, uh, kind of like a sweet and zesty, I guess, call it. I don't measure, but I do know it's two parts of this. That looks about it. Two. Yes, I brought a silver spoon out. To one part cocktail sauce. I don't know if you can see that. That's a pretty good brand right there. But again, use whatever you got or whatever you like. And we put in one part of that. Man, that was about like one part. Ugh. And remember that lemon? I only used one half. Take the other half and you squeeze in here. Like so. Voila. That is gonna kick that up a notch like you wouldn't believe. And you just mix it all together. Mix, mix. Mix it all together. We're gonna use this and you put this on that shrimp and bacon. Oh boy. I tell you, I tell you, you're gonna like that. Just give it a little mixing. Get all the ingredients together. What do you think, little teak? Smells yum yum? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I get to stick my finger in it. <laughs> oh, good lordy, you all are gonna like that. Well, at least I am, anyway. All right, let's throw these bad boys on the grill. First, let's throw the grill on the fire.
shrimpies on real quick and get them going. They won't take long. Let that cook for a second. Then we'll just flip them just so we can get the rest of that sauce on them. And that should be pretty good. Alright, we got steaks and shrimp on. And lobster in them. That's cooking. Let's get some of this delicious butter. Just spread it on that lobster. You'd already see now it's starting to turn that pretty orange. Mm. Some on. These are just plain shrimp here. I call these collateral damage. We'll let that cook for about. Alright, I think I'm gonna call those about done. Real quick. Pull them off. Hello. Just want to let you all know, dinner was mwah, fabulous. Fabulous? Fabulous? I don't care, however you want to pronounce it. It was delicious. Well, it's getting dark, so I think I'm going to turn in early. I got a, a lot of stuff I have to do in the morning. And uh, so I'm going to end this video here and everything. Glad you stayed tuned. If you made it this far, I'm really impressed and I want to give a shout out to all the men and women who are in the armed services who protect this great nation of ours. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you for your service. All the first responders, firemen, police, thank you too for protecting our great communities. And all in all, I want to give a special thanks to all my viewers and all my subscribers. Without you, I, got, I couldn't make any of this possible. <clears throat> so with you guys, I keep on keeping on. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Um, oh, also, don't forget that uh, 100 subscriber giveaway I'm going to give. It, it's at a cold steel stamped cooking pan, campfire cooking pan that I use and everything. And uh, like I said, the odds are good. There's only 100, of, well, 100, actually 112. I actually looked today. So there's 112 of these that have a shot. All you got to do, if you want in, <clears throat> just say, uh, you got to hit the like and share button. And make sure you get hit the little bell for the notifications and also comment in there I'm in and I will put everybody into a drawing and we will do that next Sunday uh, I forget the date but next Sunday from this video okay and again a million thanks and I had a lot of fun with you all and I'll see you on the next one Stay safe, stay true, and stay bushcrafting. Peace.